Fisher was not the only Justice League star who was unhappy. Sources say Whedon clashed with all the stars of the film, including Jeremy Irons. And one Justice League star ended up taking her complaints not only to the head of the fi film studio, but also to the chairman of Warner Brothers. A knowledgeable, a knowledgeable source says Godot had multiple concerns with the revised version of the film, including issues about her character being more aggressive than her character in Wonder Woman, 2017's Wonder Woman. She wanted to make the character flow from one movie to the next. The biggest clash, sources say, came when Whedon pushed Godot to record lines she didn't like, threatened to harm Godot's career, and disparaged her Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins. While Fisher declines to discuss any of what transpired with Godot, because that's Godot's thing, okay, and Ray Fisher's respecting that. A witness on the production who later spoke to investigators says that after one clash, Josh was bragging of that he's had it out with Gal. He told her he's the writer and she's going to shut up and say the lines and he can make her look incredibly stupid in this movie. A knowledgeable, a knowledgeable source says Godot and Jenkins went to battle, culminating in a meeting with then Warner's chairman, Kevin Sujahara. Asked for a comment, Godot says in a statement, I had my issues with Whedon and Warner Brothers, handled it in a timely manner. Pause. So it, it's looking like everybody's having an issue with Josh Whedon, not just Ray Fisher. I mean, here it is right here. Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot clashing with Josh Whedon and Josh Whedon threatening to make her look stupid in the movie. That is not the, the look of a collaborator like Zack Snyder, okay? That is unacceptable, and I really, really would love for Gal Gadot to address this or speak out, okay? Um, I know she gave a statement but it leaves more to be desired after an article like this.